The artist we're learning about today is Kehinde Wiley. The title of this piece is Napoleon Leading the Army Over the Alps. It's a long one, but please make sure that you put the whole title and also make sure it's in quotation marks. The medium for this piece is oil painting. The elements that are most important are color and space. The colors that are most used are a vibrant red and golden yellow. We also have a little bit of greens and some neutrals of brown and white, but the most important, the ones that stand out the most are those red and gold. And red is definitely a color of vigor, of confidence. We're talking about an army. So of course that also ties in with bloodshed, but definitely red is seen as a color of strength. Gold also has a meaning of prosperity and wealth. This would bode well for someone leading an army to have confidence and prosperity behind them. With space, we have a very clear foreground, midground, and background that shows a good sense of depth. The principles that are most important for this piece are pattern and movement. For pattern, we have this very ornate and delicate wallpaper pattern in the back that was popular around the Victorian era. This also shows wealth because at the time you couldn't just have a printer churn out a bunch of wallpaper. It needed to be either hand printed or painted, which was very costly. So these very intricate patterns showed status and wealth. Movement, we have these very strong diagonal lines in the piece here. The horse is rearing back, the stones even are at a diagonal, and then our figure here is actually at an opposite diagonal to the horse, holding on to those reins while that horse rears back. Vertical and horizontal lines are very static. They don't show a lot of actual physical action and movement, but diagonal lines show action and show that something is happening at that time. We can almost see the movement and that action of the horse rearing back and that figure trying to hold on. The mood of this piece is empowering. The figure here is definitely very confident. He's got his arm stretched out. He's holding confidently onto the reins of that horse. Even though it's rearing back, he doesn't seem to be unsteady. And we have these bright, vivid colors that show strength and confidence as well. This is definitely something where if I was following this person into battle, I would feel better following him because he seems to know what he's doing to feel like the battle can be won. The genre for this piece is contemporary painting. That's down here in the bottom right, contemporary. If you want to just write that or you want to put contemporary painting, either one is fine. So some information about the artist. Kehinde Wiley was born in 1977 and still is an active artist. His works are inspired and based heavily off of old master paintings typically from around the Baroque era. And here we have actually the piece we're looking at on the left, Napoleon leading the army over the Alps, and the piece that it was based off of on the right, Napoleon crossing the Alps by Jacques Louis David. And you can see here we have the same pose, the same gold cloth wrapped around the figure, the same horse, the same rocks. If you even look here, there's the same words that are inscribed in those rocks. And the big difference is that Kehinde removed the background, the actual Alps, these mountains, and instead changed that out for that wallpaper pattern, which again shows luxury and shows wealth and changed the colors as well. This is definitely more muted in the background, very, you know, blues, grays, browns, and really brought out very vivid background for his piece. The figures aren't wearing the same clothes, but they do have this same gold fabric draped around them. On the right, Napoleon is wearing the current battle outfit that a general would have while riding into battle. 
On the left, this figure is also wearing modern battle dress. However, the difference here is it's also something that we see a lot in streetwear and modern fashion. We actually get the idea that this probably isn't an actual general on this horse because his shirt is unbuttoned here. He's wearing a sweatband and a bandana and wearing Timberlands. So these are more fashion items rather than what someone would wear into battle right now. If you look closer, you might recognize him as Biggie Smalls. These classic works featured royalty and important people from that era with certain poses and props that are used to show importance and status. Kehinde does paint modern royalty like Tupac and Biggie Smalls here, but also features anonymous people of color. These everyday people are elevated to the status of royalty through his work. On the right, Arms of Nicholas Ruterius, Bishop of Arras, is another one of his pieces that's very heavily inspired by a classic work. This is originally a stained glass piece, and Kehinde has also recreated it in stained glass as well. So this is not a painting, but made of glass. When the original piece was made, a lot of art was funded either by the church or by wealthy white patrons. So most of the pictures are either religious in nature or of wealthy white aristocrats. And the thing is, whenever we look at those historical pieces, mostly what we see is whiteness. So this is one reason that he decides to create work not only to fill that hole, but work that is inspired and based off of classic pieces. Kehinde Wiley saw all of these classic pieces and wished that there was more representation of people of color within art, and particularly classic art. So this isn't just artwork of people of color, but it is elevating people of color in a way that they would not have been able to and weren't able to back in the time when these classic pieces were being created. The piece on the left, Shantavia Beale II, has this beautiful lush background and it's a repeating pattern but inspired by nature and it's very interesting because not only is she standing in front of the pattern like the previous piece was but within an environment the pattern is also growing on top of her showing different levels of depth so it's not just her in front of the background but it then pushes her a little bit towards the midground because you have the pattern on top of her then her and then behind her Portrait of Samuel Johnson on the left is another more modern piece. We have this person that you could see walking down any street today. He's wearing some really cool stylish clothes and has, again, this very beautiful ornate Victorian style wallpaper pattern behind him, but that is also growing and crawling on top of the figure as well. The pose that he's in right there is also one that you would see typically within a classical painting of someone of the aristocracy. The piece on the right, the Archangel Gabriel, is painted on a wooden altar, similar to a reliquary or a piece of religious iconography that you might see in a church. The image in the center is again of a modern figure wearing modern clothes and standing in the same position and holding the same kind of staff that the Archangel Gabriel is shown in many different images. However, Kehinde also adds a little bit of his own touch and the pattern of the plants in the background also growing on top of the figure. Kehinde Wiley was also chosen to paint President Obama's official presidential portrait for the Smithsonian Gallery. President Obama is sitting with his arms crossed and a very serious look on his face. But the way that he's leaned forward when we look at analyzing body language also shows that he is invested. Perhaps we're in a conversation with him and he's really listening intently to what the viewer is saying. And also the plants in the background are flowers that are native to Hawaii, which is where President Obama was born. Here's a picture of Kehinde Wiley working on one of his pieces. Not only is this great to see an artist in action, but also to be able to see the scale. These pieces are larger than life, and some of them even span an entire wall of a gallery. I also really like his shirt and would absolutely wear it, but I realized later that pattern is from when he cleans his brush off on his shirt to go get another color. 